What's up, YouTube? Alright, so I'm going to do a video response to myself. A video that I posted back in... On September 12th, 2013. And yes, yesterday was 9-11, so... Rest in peace, everyone that died that day. And I had a moment of silence for them. Alright, so... On to discussion about my video response to myself. It's entitled Dating Experiences. Um, I got that idea from Mr. Rubsion because I just saw in his video after or before and then I posted the video after I saw his video. Alright, so here we go. Hello Mr. Rubsion, aka Daniel. Um, well, I just got done watching your video Dating Experiences. And I know you wanted to hear dating experiences. Well, here we go. One relationship I got into lasted for about nine months. And then she broke up with me. The girl did because I got into a lot of fights. But then... That's just a stupid idea to break up with someone for. The day that um that she broke up with me in PE, I was like going da 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 da. Yeah, the Star Wars thing. The Star Wars thing during class, and I was having a good, a great day. And then people look at her like, really? It's like they looked at her like, you really going out with this guy? That's. They gave her weirded out looks. One kid. I'd like to add a little story to that. So I talked to a guy a couple months later, or I, when I was dating that girl, he said, I was a new kid, I didn't know nothing, and he said, first thing I know, Surreal's dating Damara, but that wasn't actually true, because the kid who said that was a kid I used to hang out with at first, his name was Derek, he and I kind of got into a lot of fights at school, and he kind of gave me a hard time, but here we go. Continuing the looks that they gave her and then So what she did was she went She told me she needed to talk to me at lunch and then she broke up with me at lunch and I wasn't Sad at all rather I felt great to be single later. Um And judging to that I was single first for 13 years and then this relationship went on for nine months and then I was single for I was single for for about three years. Trace here. Yes, you were surreal. Yes, you were. That's my real name. I don't use the name surreal anymore. I use the name Justin Dragon Slayer. And then I got back, then I got together with another girl, or that girl, um, who I did at first, um, we were thinking about getting back together at one point. Well, you were, but she had a boyfriend in Canada. But, uh, she had a boyfriend, and then, well, we just started talking, but... But then I got together with this other girl who I'm with right now, but um, this relationship didn't last too long at first. It lasted for not even a month, and then she started talking to me again, but she was... I think she said she wanted me the whole time, but her stupid... But her, her friend, she <coughs> her friend's advice, this was not the wisest idea. 
Of course it wasn't surreal. You're much more of a gentleman than her asshole ex-boyfriend. Huh. I'm kind of in between. Girl's ex-boyfriend, that ex-boyfriend of hers is kind of a fuckface. Then she went out with this guy called <coughs> Isaac, who she had been out with before, who abused her, mistreated her, and all that crap. Um, so, what happened was that she had broke up with him, and she wanted me back again at one point, but I was with this other girl at one point. I was... I was with this, uh, I was single for, let me see, after she broke up with me, I got back, to, I got together with this girl, um, <clears throat> let me think, <coughs> let me think, You were single for six months, my friend. Surreal, you were single for six months. And we were dating for about, let me see. So we didn't even date for about a year. A year. The first relationship I had was in sixth grade. A little bit in the seventh grade. But then I went all the way over to, wait a minute. Yeah, the first relationship you had was in sixth grade, then the second relationship you had was in your sophomore year in high school, and then the third relationship you had, you were a junior in high school, and then you got back with the girl you were with at that time in your senior year. Yeah, so it was about nine months, and then... That was 6th grade and a little bit of 7th grade, then my sophomore year in high school I got together with the girl who I'm with right now again, but yes, our first relationship did not work out. But I got together with this other girl after I've been single for... Seven months. Wait, seven? And Yeah, seven months, not six. If I said six, it was seven. I think I said seven, but oh well. We dated from yeah. for a month about. Yeah, you dated from December like thirtieth or even earlier to February seventh. That's a little bit different. I said it's her one month anniversary, happy anniversary, and she's like, aww. Or, aw, happy anniversary, babe. Yeah, something along that line. I can't really remember what she said to you, buddy. But I want to tell you... Sorry about keeping on saying that. It's just my old self, my old me, you know. I, I think I sound maybe a little bit older now than I did back then. Something. <coughs> I live in Washington. Just like you, Daniel. And she lives in Pennsylvania. Which is not the wisest idea to have a long distance relationship. But the thing is, it lasted for over a month, so that was quite an achievement. Then the second time we dated, we got back together a month later, and and th that relationship only lasted about a day or two. So then we broke. That actually is true. She broke up with you again. It's real. Broke up again. She. I, I couldn't take this. The, um, she said something really horrible on my Facebook wall, which is where we would talk. Or One time she talked to me on the phone for four hours. Yeah, back then, though. Yeah, she said, Babe, last night was fun. Maybe we could do that again tonight. That's what she said to you, buddy. Um, But then, again, it's real. You obviously had a bad judge of girlfriends back then. Let me see. Let me see. What she said to you was, 
It's real William Gasser stop spinning my fucking wall. I gave you three chances, but you kept on lying to me or something like that. Me and your daughter will be okay, I prom will be okay or safe, I promise you that. That's not even your daughter, man. You've never had you never had sex with her. She called me for and stopped that an hour because her stomach landed on a thumbtack and she said that she had to um and she said that she lost service and then we talked again and it was like four hours or three out three hours. I'm trying to find something here because was something that I've been looking for. Um, my girlfriend called me a pathetic loser and a tramp at one point, and I was told to ignore it because exes can be crazy. Yeah, Eliza called you a pathetic loser and a tramp, and then my uh, and then your uh, your girlfriend's brother, the girl you dating, the girl you were dating, said. Just ignore it. Exes can be crazy. Taking you a while, isn't it surreal? Hmm. I'm trying to find out where she posted on my wall on my. Because she posted something on my wall that was quite hurtful. And this was back, like, 2010. But, it was something that was really horrible. And then we, we got back together, and I couldn't handle it anymore. Of course you couldn't. I could not handle that relationship anymore. You, and if you're gonna ask why, it's because, well, we got back together like, see, we broke up in March. We got back five months later and I asked her to marry me and she said, here's how I went. You broke up in February, you got back together in March, then you got back together in August and then you guys were engaged, and then you guys broke up. That's how it went, bro. And okay. I said, will you... I have a question to ask you, baby. And she said, what's that, babe? And I said, will you marry me? And she said, yeah. And it's like, why are you going to be engaged to someone you don't even know? And then... I hadn't heard from her. Heard she killed herself. Didn't want to deal with this old crap anymore. Because, I mean... I, I said... Of course you didn't, Surreal. Listen to this. You know what she said? Alright, so she broke up with you, broke your heart in one way. Broke up with you, or said she wants nothing to do with you. So of course that breaks your heart. Said she has no interest in going back out with you. Um, and then she said that you're a little fucker. And that she was in pain for hurting you and she just wanted to die. There's five ways she broke your heart. Another way she broke your heart, bro, is, let's see. Let's see how else she broke your heart, man. She said she 
wants nothing to do with you again. Or, no, she said, shut the fuck up, otherwise something bad's gonna happen. Then, she quit talking to you. Then, she, uh, <clears throat> started talking to you again. Then, then she quit talking to you again. Called you again. Wanted nothing to do with you again. And then you were told to move on, but you didn't want to. Then she tried calling you again, and then you looked at the phone, and you didn't want to pick it up. Then, then she created more drama, said it's real William Gasser stops him in my F and Y gave you three chances, but you kept on lying or something, 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 or something, something. And then she said, then she said two years ago, no, she, no, then she said, <clears throat> Then she made up a lie that she killed herself because it was to catch her brother. So then I blocked her because I was sick of it. That was the old me who was in love with her. I wasn't in love with her anymore. There were tears in my eyes. It really made me ball my eyes out. Yeah, I started to cry because it said R.I.P. Liz Surreal's fiance. And then I just started to cry at the me and... It broke your heart, buddy. Yeah, that's me. It broke my heart. That someone would lie that bad. It just really made me ball my eyes out. Actually, really, really, you didn't ball your eyes out. You just cried a little bit. And I just sat there with big tears coming down my eyes. That all, all I can, all you can do, really, is just sit there and think, wow. If you hadn't lied that bad, we probably would have stayed together, but really, you didn't want to anymore. <sighs> you just told Liz you couldn't handle it anymore. She commented on my wall I think one you time. She was like, she was like, I love you, baby. I'm so amazed by you, surreal James William Gasser. That's when we got back together. And then she said, finally got Ebony and Derek to sleep. Surreal James William Gasser, my fiance. I love you so much. So does your daughter and son. Really, really, Eliza. Why, Eliza? Why? Why you gotta say they're my kids when I never even... Wow. And she said, Ah, oh, I don't feel good. I have a temperature of 99.8. I'm beat red in the... That was good, surreal. When you said, Why, Eliza? Why? Yeah. <laughs> that was actually funny, man. Stomach pains. And my daughter is in laying in bed with me. And my son is passed out on my brother lol why i love you surreal james william gasser <laughs> yeah and then i was on my you know i was in this very room <clears throat> when i was talking to her because i got this room i think i, I think i got my computer moved into this room um, I don't know if it was a year ago, I, I don't know, um, I forgot when it was, but I think it was in 2009 or 10, I think it was 2009, yeah, but I had a different computer, and the, and the other computer that I had was a hunk of shit, the first computer I ever had was a hunk of shit, and then I said, it's a hunk of shit, and then she said, now she gets, now he gets Allen's, which is just above a hunk of shit. But actually, that wasn't true. The one that I got that was Allen's wasn't that bad. 
but then I used it for three years and then my brother said that computer is terrible. He said it was terrible after three years of saying it was great. Then, it, then he said it was terrible. Then I got this one. This one's actually good. And that, but then I had to get, but I had a different monitor. I had this monitor. If you're gonna ask me how a monitor breaks, this one broke. The backlight to this one broke, and then the and the cable broke too. So. That's not worth it anymore. I was just doing, you know, what I usually do. And then Eliza, the reason I can't find her comments on my page was because I blocked her. So my friend sent me what she said one time. Um... And I was taking a look at all these um, things of what she said. And she said, being single sucks pussy. And one thing she said about me, and something that just made me flip into tears, and something that, that, made, my, that made some of my friends feel bad for me, and some that made my friends like just boil up with anger that she would actually say this to him. She said, Cyril William Gasher, stop spamming my fucking wall. I give you three fucking chances, but you kept on lying to me. I'm done, okay? Your daughter and I will be fine, okay? I promise. All I, all I can do, Cyril, is question your freaking stupidity back then of how stupid you used to be. And I'm like, I started to bawl my eyes out after I read that message. I was bawling, 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 bawling my eyes out. Yeah, you messaged what? your friend Alan, and then he said, I read that. I feel sorry for you. Something like that. Oh. So then I... In the end, I couldn't take it anymore. In the end, I broke up with her. And got back with the girl in my second relationship, and now we... We're almost in a three-year relationship, so yeah, everything worked out in the end. Um, but now, since I'm drag Justin Dragon Slayer, I'll tell you how long I'm with her now. Almost six years. Been with Brittany for almost six years. In about wow, in about two years, in about a week from now. Almost in about a week. So I'm looking at the date. September 23rd is a Friday. But there's something I want to tell you. September 23rd. Then. Was on a Friday too. And then September 24th. Was the day we went out for our. Anniversary. But you know what's funny. It was five years ago. <clears throat> and now. September 24th is the same the same time as we went out that one year. And that was at our one year. Now it's at our, it's almost our six years. I'm trying to find my, um, see if I had a picture still in here somewhere, but I think they may have been put down somewhere. Or thrown well, away. the ASBs that she gave me. Those might have gone of her. missing on accident. Here's a few pictures of her. And she's still really gorgeous. As gorgeous as can be. Of course she is, buddy. Yep. Yeah, um, this was her most recent, which I really love. And, yeah, we're in a three-year relationship, and... I gotta tell you, it's never lasted longer than this, to tell you the truth. It's just awesome. To, to be honest, back then, you were 21. I'm 24 now. To be with someone who cares about you that much. I think I just sound maybe a little bit older. I think my voice got a little bit deeper. I have the most deep voice in my family.
So, yeah. Ever since we've been together, um, my life has taken a turn for the better. But anyway, stay up to date and subscribe. And Daniel, this video was for you to talk about dating experiences. Me and my girlfriend have a lot in common. I think, yeah, I think she likes ACDC. I think she likes KISS. She told me that she likes One Direction. I like that song by One Direction called What Makes You Beautiful because it makes me think of her all the time. I also have the song, I also have the song Steal My Girl and Drag Me Down. I know uh, a lot of my friends don't like boy bands, but I told them I'd rather listen to One Direction than the Jonas Brothers. Jonas Brothers are no longer a band. They broke up. Oh, uh, she likes Michael Jackson, I think. And, yeah, she likes a lot of good stuff. I love Michael she's Jackson. She's okay if I like to read comic books and play with action figures later on in my life. But, uh, anyway, stay up to date and subscribe. Peace. Uh, thank you, Mr. Repsion, for letting me... For giving me the permission to post this video as a video response to you. I'm so sad that video responses are no longer going to be up. So I have to post this like to his wall. <laughs> well, anyway, stay up to date and subscribe. Bye. Peace. Thank you, Mr. Repsion. You are my YouTube idol. Peace. Bye. <coughs> you know what you should have said, Surreal? <coughs> Thank you, Daniel, Mr. Repsion, for giving me an idea to film a video. Speaking of action figures, I got one. Yeah. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Stay up to date and subscribe. Peace out.